Hey guys, it's Cardboard Castaway. Today we're going to be looking at the legendary metal coins by Draw Lab Entertainment. They're going to be on Kickstarter. They're a set of uh, component upgrades, essentially. Uh, a set of metal coins with different themes and different sort of styles to them, all themed to the sort of, um, well, there are different sets, each of which has a theme, and there are three different coins for each set. I'm just gonna go straight to the show them to you, because that's the most important. Let's show you the coins. Alright, so we have quite a few coins to get through, so I'm just gonna go through all of these, starting off with these guys over here. Let me just get them in focus. So, what I have here is each set um, comes with three different coins, right? There's the gold one, the silver one, and the bronze one, right? Each one of them is completely unique from the others. So this is the steampunk set. The bronze steampunk one is different from all the other twos, uh, all the other two from the steampunk one. There are a few different set sets. What you get in the collector's edition, uh, the collector set, which is this one, is one coin of each from all of the different sets. But then you can choose a set and decide to order um, different bundles uh, of component upgrades. If there's one you really like, you can order more of that. But this is essentially what the collector set has, one of each coin. And I'm going to go through them, I'm going to show them to you. We're going to start off with this one, the steampunk coin set. And uh, so there are three coins, the silver, as I said, the gold, and the bronze. And I'm just going to zoom into these and just um, show them to you a little bit so you can see what they have. So these, these, are, these are heavy metal coins. This is not plastic. This is full-on metal. And what we're seeing, and they, they, are, they are really, really nice and heavy. As you can see and hear, these guys um, are, are nicely molded. Really, really, some, some nice artwork done on these. They are quite very nice and some of them have have a bit more detail than others depends on the style but they are all all really well fitting for the theme so this is the the, the gold is this a sort of skulls and roses sort of thing here and we have this um emblem on the front very steampunky very gears sort of thing the silver coin also has these uh, master of my fate captain of my soul and you have the again with the gear motif there um always maintaining with the steampunk sort of feel this is the silver one you can see you can see the shiny metal feel that this has there's an airship etched in and all of the coins seem to have like a, a i think an ink wash or it's just the, the brushed metal the way it is they all have this sort of darkened detail in the grooves which looks really cool i'm not i'm not that, i'm not that um intricate on coin making or coin forging and stuff like that but um, these do look really nice. Uh, I, I'm not sure how the process happens exactly, but here we have, oh, this is cool. Um, we have some intricate details there, as you can see, but there's the, this airship sort of thing, the river too, on the front and on the back. Again, the gear motif. Those are the three coins from the steampunk set. Let's move on to another set. And what we have here is the just, the capital set, and these have a sort of royal, I don't know, um, French Renaissance sort of royal um, feel to them. I, I, I guess um, they're called the capital set, and they're full of emblems, fleur de lis. Um, uh, I, I like them quite a bit. These are the most uh, regal of them all. Uh, let's take a closer look. This is there we go. The a nice crown on the gold coin, nicely detailed. Here and on the other side, we have this detailed emblem with the lions. The crown there features again. So you can see capital being, I, su I suppose, some sort of city or, or kingdom that they are meant to represent. They very, have a very nice kingdom feel to them. The other one, the silver one, also the motif there with an emblem. The crown comes in again. Very cool looking. This is the silver coin. And here we have more sort of... Um, Again, the, the shield with capital again written there in the bottom. Finally, the bronze coin. A, a 
tower or a palace of sorts here with uh, I like the way they've put in these Roman numerals of the of the year or stuff when it was made. It does add a lot a lot of flavor. Again, the well, maybe it's the phoenix. The I don't I don't know if it's a phoenix or a dragon. It looks like a bird to me. But there's again the emblem there. I think that's Fleur de Lee with the writing. You can see that this is all embossed, right? This is all molded into the coin. Again, hefty. You know, nice and hefty coins that we have here. Um, Thickness-wise, they're also quite, you know, they're not thin or anything like that. Really cool. That was the capital set. Let's move on to another set. We have the Arabic set, and these are actually my favorites again. Three coins, bronze, silver, and gold, and let's start with the bronze one this time. These have some some really cool Arabic writing on them. I don't know. I just like I just like the theme. I guess I like the sort of Arabic style. They have some really really intricate, cool cool patterns here on these coins. This is the bronze coin. Really cool. Maybe I like these because my my first language is actually a Semitic language, Maltese. So. Is derived actually from Arabic, although we do write it with with a regular Latin sort of alphabet. But yeah, I guess we do have some sort of quite some nice intricate details here. And these are also these these are embossed. I don't know if you can see it, but that's quite nice. Look at that. Again, quite hefty, quite. Next one. Again, in the same sort of style. Well detailed. This is the gold coin from the Arabic. Very cool. I like this one. Yeah. That's the Arabic one. Moving on. Here we have some smaller coins. These are actually a little bit smaller. There are some of the sets which are slightly smaller than the other ones, just because of theme, I guess. But um, comparing, uh, th this is the, one of the steampunk ones. Comparing the size to these, these are slightly smaller, as you can see there. Um, but it's all well fitting uh, to the theme. They're also slightly, uh, not thinner actually, they're just made smaller because that's what the theme kind of represents. Again, one coin for each of the tiers. Let's look at them. If we can get the camera zoomed in. Okay, it's getting me. Oh, there we go. Okay. There we go. The, you've got the turtle and some script there on the other side. Again, the Far East scripture and writing. He's come with the holes. This is actually a hole in the center, of course somewhat, I guess, historical accuracy there, or a reflection of history. These, this one actually has a bit more of an Egyptian feel. I find the... maybe I'm wrong, but that's the first impression it gives me. There's the gold coin from the, from the uh, Far East set. And the silver one. This one has a circular hole in the center and has this sort of um, etched painting here. On the front. Again, metal, quite a hefty set. All of them are hefty, I mean, but, but all of them are metal, all of them are the same, match the same sort of quality. Uh, there isn't one that is less sort of high quality than the other one. And then we got some more fantasy ones. There are quite a few fantasy ones, a few historical ones. These are the the pirate set. Um, again, three coins as usual. These are some. These have quite a little bit of detail. I'm going to show you these. Two. Let's just get it zoomed in. Oh yeah, there we go. Check that out. Check the detail on that coin. This is the gold from the pirate set. Uh, moving on. The bronze one also 
Uh, is that an eight pointed cross? Eight pointed cross, cross possibly. And we got a nice ship there again with intricate details there on the outside. That's the bronze coin. And the silver one with the anchor again. Right round we have the Ooh, the Kraken <laughs> on the other side. Very thematic. So that's that's the pirate set. Moving on. Okay, more fantasy ones. We're gonna look at the Elven set of coins now. These also have uh, uh, some of the more detailed ones. Let's uh, get straight to it. This is the silver. Coin from the Elven set. Gorgeous pattern there. I really like this one too. The Elven tree, of course, needs to feature. Some nice patterns there going on. Bronze one from the Elven set. Oh, this one has also some like elvish or some sort of type of elvish written around the edges. <laughs> nice addition. And here we have the bow, of course. Also, some scripture there. A the sort of a star. That's the Elven set. It's a uh, one I quite like. Uh, let's go to, well, we've done Elven, might as well do the Dwarven, of course. Um, now, these are not round ones, actually, uh, of all the ones we saw till now. Um, there are a few others that are not round, but um, these are one of the few that are not round. And they have two uh, eight sided octagons and one ten sided. The gold one is actually ten sided. Um, these are probably the most rugged looking one, of course. It's Dwarven, so that's to be expected. This is the silver coin from the Dwarven set, featuring a nice battle axe there. <laughs> Pretty badass for a coin. I like that. This looks like a, a helmet. A Dwarven helmet. Uh, with some scripture there. And actually, the, a ten-sided one, a ten-sided ten coin. Details in these are, are pretty, pretty astounding. I, I'm impressed by by the quality of these. Now, it's good to say that that these feature um, pretty much the quality that you'll be getting from from the Kickstarter, right? Look at that. So they're pretty on par on what you'll be getting. These are not like production samples and they will be different. These are pretty much what you will be getting. They match. Nice hammer there. They match the quality that you'll be getting. Thickness wise, yeah, I mean, there's nothing to complain with regards to the quality of these of these coins. Um, they are all really nice. Um, keeping on the fantasy theme, I guess. The dragon coin set. Um, let's get straight to it. There we go. So these also feature some of them. I mean, these fantasy ones have lots and lots of detail. I mean, look at that. This is the silver coin with a dragon on it. Come on. It's, it's pretty badass. The gold coin with another dragon on it. Woo! And finally, the bronze coin from the dragon coin set. Another dragon. These are some some really nice coins too. I mean, I, I, I keep saying there's some some really nice coins, some really nice coins, but I mean, all of these are are pretty. Yeah, all of them have are, are well designed, well themed. They look great. Not too much to complain, you know. Um, this is the Greek set. Uh, and these are cool because they are still round. They are the size of the, basically similar in size to the, um, I'd say, 
to the far east ones, so they're slightly smaller. But uh, these feature even more sort of a battered look, an old ancient sort of look. So they're not completely round. They have these kind of chipped edges that the coins come in. And I don't think it's a, it's, it's uh, see that one? This is not, I don't, I, I'm pretty sure there's not a production flow because all of the other ones are, are pretty much flawless. So this is cool that they went to the, to the trouble of also replicating the sort of historical accuracy of how a coin would have looked. Well, I'm not sure about the detail that this has, but at least it looks kind of like an old coin, right? So there you see it's kind of flattened out, and some of the. I mean, there's a lot of attention to detail that's been put in the design of these coins. That's the silver coin from the Greek set. It's the gold one from the Greek set. Right up there. Kind of chipped feel. Look at that. They do have sort of more of a kind of futuristic Greek. Ah, oh, no, I can't say that. It's not really. Well, but it's a. I guess slightly fantastical, I suppose. I, I'm not sure, but. They do look great. I like that. So that's the. Uh, the Greek set, two more to go. Alright, put that put those aside. These ones. These are the sci-fi themed set, and these are the most exotically uh, shaped ones. We have a square. Uh, this one with uh, eight points, and these are different on both sides. I really like the design of these because they have... <laughs> this, this looks like, I don't know... There's an eagle on it, so it look it does look like something that could feature, I guess, in a coin from the near future. But then it's got this this sort of like technological look in the back. So I'm, this looks like a coin that would have some sort of chip in it, right? Some advanced high tech coin on the back there. This is a silver coin from the sci-fi set. There's the bronze coin from the same sci-fi set and this one actually reminds me a little bit of the um, of the race for the galaxy tokens victory point tokens I don't know it kind of remind me of it this 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 particular coin bronze coin and the gold coin and this is cool course from this side it looks like an eight-pointed sort of coin but when you turn it around it looks like a square with a seal and the things pointing out so I love it. There's a lot of design choices that have been made in designing these coins that, that you know, there's a lot of detail been put in, a lot of thought. I feel. Those were the sci-fi set and this is the medieval set. And the medieval set features coins which are, again, slightly smaller than the dragon set, so probably the similar size to the, um, the Greek set and uh, the Far East set. But I like these because they, the intricacies in the detail, it's still very good. But they do look like, you know, these could have been hand sculpted. The molds could have been hand sculpted. You know, there's, there's not like all of the, the sort of words are kind of sort of approximately cut. Uh, and all of the designs, it looks like it could be done with a hammer and chisel. You know, this is the silver coin from the medieval set. The bronze one. So the, even the text is bigger. And finally, the gold one from the medieval set. So, uh, yeah, these are the coins. So, yeah, that's essentially the uh, legendary metal coins from the guys from Draw Lab. Well, I don't have much to say. I mean, they, they look and feel pretty amazing as far as coins go. Um, if uh, what you're looking for is, is a component upgrade, I would suggest you go for the, for the option of getting uh, one 
set with uh, one theme, choosing a theme, and then going for or a few themes that you like. If you're looking for and, and getting that, if you're looking for for a collector sort of thing, you can get the set that I have, uh, which is uh, which is essentially one of each coin. They look great. They feel great. Um, if if you do a lot of gaming with 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 coins and and, and exchange of money and stuff like that, I think I think this is this this is a really great upgrade. I mean, they feel great in your hand, and I don't think you would enjoy making any sort of deal more than you would enjoy with these fancy looking um, coins. They are quite quite legendary, they look great. Um, so if that's what you're looking for, if uh, you're looking for an, a component upgrade with this, which is money related, I don't think you can really do much better than this. They are there's a lot of detail uh, and attention to detail that's been put into the design of these and also to the manufacture of these coins. So they're on Kickstarter, check them out. Maybe you're interested. They're pretty cool.